how do we paint light? This could be lava with fire, it could be the sky, it could be light. How do we create light? This is um, a painting that has resin on top of it, so that's why it shines um, a little bit too much. We can also see the, the lamp shining in it. We are going to create light. And this is what we're going to do. We have a raw amber. We are going to use this together with yellow oxide and raw sienna. And of course white. Titanium white. We are going to use that. Also we like deco art traditions. It's extender and blending medium. So first of all with the brush we are going to um, actually before that we are just going to draw light and we want some land we, we just want to have a little bit of land okay We apply a little bit of um, blending medium extender. We are going to do that. This, this is going to help us um, blend the colors together. We want to work with acrylic paint today, not with oil. There are three kids in the house and we don't want the smell. We don't like the oil, the smell. Maybe after they are in college we are going to start to work with, with oil. So much wait for that time when we can bring oil and um, you know, it's going to be great. But for now, we are just going to work with this uh, blender, with this medium that we have. It's really cool. Okay. So what this medium does is actually, it's um. I'm just gonna put a little bit of medium on the lower side. Um, this this medium will help us. Um, with the blending. I think I said that already, sorry about that. We need a lot of the, the medium. It's a big painting, so I mean it's just a regular size painting, but still the blending, the, the medium is really useful. Painting will have a um, frame, but but it always look better if I paint the edges.
we're going to add a little bit of yellow And this is how easy it is with this um with this deco art um, blender. See, we can always create this this beautiful tone that goes between them. Just make sure they blend well. We do want to have a little bit of um, red. What we're trying to do today is the the sun and the sky. So there is going to be a little bit of red here. And what's more important is the yellow. We do have yellow here. It's the yellow. We are trying to have again some blending. As you can see, it's very easy. Now what we need today is um, right here at the horizon we need some uh, green pale so we are just going to mix this green pale with the ochre. That's what we're gonna do. As you can see, just like so. always use some neutral gray. Welcome to the party. We are so free to use anything we want but we want to use the ones that are in our advantage. Alright, with a little bit of this gray mixed maybe. Just beautiful. You 
guys the most important is to have a little bit of fun with it otherwise that's no good just a little bit of fun we'll do it all we'll do all the trick we'll do the trick for us okay and this is gonna be our sky we can always blend see it was so easy you can literally finish in no time what we do with our composition so what I did today I don't encourage you guys to do that it's always better if you just think over over the composition like you know like sketches and all these things are welcome all these um, studies studies a uh, studied uh, angles and um, you really wanna take care of your composition if you want something nice to happen over there All right. sure a little bit of red will be more than welcome even orange. Let's try this. Let's try something wild. The orange always goes right in front of it because, um, you know, this is the closest um, to the viewer. And we have to have a little bit of light here. A little bit of color, sorry. Whilst in the in the far away plan we have only see we have a, a plan that is far away that's a little bit um going into um, another tone like more like a faded tone just a little mistake here sorry we are going to fix it so this is the darkest one okay now what's left to do see I picked the, the white brush here we can um, add a little bit of white it's not gonna be pure white of course but um a little bit of white okay want more of this pale green titan pale green so cute It has to be warm so the light will be warm here so that was a little bit of a mistake it has to be warm the light will be super warm here if we want to add we're just gonna add a little bit of um,
go. Pure white for light. Here. I can see it coming. Alright. So we have a little bit of um shade here. I'm gonna go with and give a little bit of shade to this light here. 